Okay, so here today we're going to finish the disassembly of the uh, planer joiner head right here. And the first thing we need to do is take the power chain off. The easiest thing to do there is to take a piece of wire or something and just wire back the pulley or idler pulley. You can see that idler pulley up against that chain right there. All you got to do is just take that chain off your top two uh, spur gears and we're good to go. Now one thing you need to know I'm taking apart this uh, this planer head and everything. Below each one of these blocks are shim plates. On one side it has a separate shim plate on each, on each end. On the other end it's a solid shim plate. And then there are springs up above the uh, each of the bearings. So there's two springs on each side. Uh, make sure, be careful when you start taking it apart because they can jump out of there. You don't want to lose those springs. And it is probably best that you mark your shim plates so that they go back in the same way that they came back out. Now your dust chute right here is, is attached to that whole assembly. It's on a rod that goes between your two blocks. Uh, last time I took that out separately. I'm going to try to take it out as a unit this time. Putting it together as a unit is uh, somewhat hard. But uh, I'm going to see about doing it a little bit different way this time than I did this time. Take off the outlet shield. And then all you got your your four bolts. Let's secure your heads. see this but the block is lifting up now because of the springs. Planer joiner systems go. This one's actually pretty simple. And 
here are your springs and here are your shim plates your outboard shim plate on mine is a uh, is a single piece the inboard is in three pieces your in feed out feed roller is just right on bearings and the bearings sit on set screws that are inside the case I'm going to take this off so you can see this. Whatever you do, do not move those set screws. You should be able to see those set screws. And there's your shim plates. All those shim plates have to be clean and everything before you put it back together. Make sure there's no sawdust caught in there. Same thing for the bearings. Your two springs are going to be sitting up above inside the cap. I have to say taking it off with the uh, shroud in place was a little bit harder. I'll, I'll end up not putting it back with the shroud in place. Put the shroud on after I set the caps. So here's the assembly. First thing to do is get the shroud off here. camera but there are the holes on each cap on each bearing cap where the springs go in there's where the springs go in at now we're going to take apart to your uh your kickback finger bar and that's going to allow this thing to separate side on the on the kickback pause and I'm gonna pull this out of here so it's a little easier to work with. This thing did not come apart so hard last time. Press would be nice to get this off with, but I don't have one. And there we go. That bearing is still good. Thanks for watching the Joiner Disassembly video. Uh, next video up is the third in the series and will be the assembly of the, uh, the Joiner planer uh, with the Sheelix head. Following that will be the, dis the uh, alignment of the unit after final assembly. Thank you.